In this Learning Byte for Windows Small Business Server 2011 Essentials, we'll take a look at health monitoring and alerts. Here in the SBS dashboard, we can see a summary of the active alerts for the server and the client computers. From here, we can jump into the Alert Viewer to see more detailed information about each alert. Alerts can be one of three severities, either critical alerts, warnings, or informational messages. For each one of these alerts, we can see a description of the alert, some steps to resolve the alert, and some tasks that will help you perform the required resolution. Some alerts may also contain information to learn more about the alert. You are able to organize the list of alerts to show all the alerts or filter them by the computer that generated them, whether that's the server or any of the client computers. You can also filter by type. In addition to performing the tasks that would resolve the issue, you can also ignore alerts. This would allow you to stop the alert from showing in the dashboard and deal with it at a future time. Alerts that are ignored are still listed in the alert viewer, but aren't included in the overall health assessment. Alerts that have been ignored are grayed out. You also have the option of deleting an alert or re-enabling it. When you delete an alert, it is removed from the alert viewer, but if it is detected again, a new alert will be generated. You can also set up email notifications for alerts. This is one of the tasks on the Getting Started page of the dashboard. Let's go ahead and set up alert email notification. To do this, we'll just click on the Enable button and then fill out the settings. Here you can see that the alerts are going to be sent from a specified account, in this case alerts at contoso.com. We specify an SMTP server that we want to use to deliver the mail, as well as the port to be used. You can also send the alerts via a secure connection. If you select this, be sure to update the SMTP port as required. Finally, you're able to provide authentication information for the SMTP server. Once the SMTP settings have been configured, you can go ahead and list the recipients who should receive email notifications of new alerts. These can include users in the SPS environment, as well as external recipients, such as a Microsoft partner. Alerts are also shown in the Launchpad on client computers, filtered by that specific computer. Thank you for watching this Learning Byte, and I hope you join us for future videos.